Every day we wake up carrying the weight of yesterday, our minds cluttered with memories, each tagged with a specific emotion. These aren't just recollections, they're the architects of our reality, intricately weaving the fabric of our daily experiences. You see, when we open our eyes each morning before even stepping out of bed, we're already sifting through these memories, selecting, often unconsciously, the feelings we'll wear for the day. These memories connected to people, places, and events aren't merely passive. They're active participants in the creation of our reality. Each one is an emotional thread, linking us back to moments that have shaped us. And as we dwell on these memories, we not only revisit the emotions, but we also reaffirm our current state of being, anchored in the past. This constant retrospection isn't benign. It shapes how we view ourselves and our potential, especially regarding our financial circumstances. The memories of financial hardships, the emotions tied to past failures, and the fears of future uncertainties collaborate to create a self-fulfilling prophecy of scarcity and limitation. Our brain, a magnificent record of our past, becomes a barrier to our future. It's as if we're driving while constantly looking in the rearview mirror, navigating our life's journey without seeing the road ahead. This habitual focus on the past predicates our future, ensuring that what lies ahead mirrors what we've left behind. At the heart of this cycle lies the potent duo of thought and emotion. Our thoughts, often reflections of our past experiences, give rise to emotions which then dictate our state of being. This cycle, seemingly inescapable, traps us in a loop where our current state is always a reflection of our past. Consider for a moment the feelings that financial stress evokes, the anxiety of unpaid bills, the strain of debts, and the constant worry about the future are not just fleeting emotions. They're powerful forces that shape our reality. When we're trapped in this state, our energy aligns with scarcity, and like a magnet, we attract more of the same experiences. This cycle of thought and emotion isn't fixed. It's a choice, albeit an unconscious one. Each morning, when we choose to engage with these limiting thoughts and emotions, we're choosing to live in a state of financial lack. But what if we chose differently? What if instead of anchoring our thoughts in scarcity, we anchored them in abundance? The truth is, our thoughts have the power to shape our destiny, including our financial destiny. If we continue to think in terms of lack, we'll continue to live in lack. However, if we shift our thoughts towards abundance, towards possibilities and opportunities, we begin to change our vibrational energy, aligning ourselves with the abundance we seek. Breaking free from this cycle requires more than just a conscious desire for change. It demands a fundamental shift in how we think and feel. This is where the journey becomes challenging. For to alter our thoughts and emotions, we must venture into the unfamiliar, beyond the comfort of our established patterns. The first step in breaking the cycle is awareness. We must become vigilant observers of our thoughts and emotions, noticing when we slip into patterns of scarcity and limitation. This awareness isn't passive. It's the active choice to redirect our focus towards thoughts and feelings of abundance. This redirection is not without discomfort. Our bodies, accustomed to the chemical state produced by our habitual thoughts and emotions, may resist this change. Like an addict craving a fix, our body craves the familiarity of our past emotions, even if they are negative. But it's in this discomfort that growth lies. By choosing to stay the course, to persistently align our thoughts with abundance, we begin to rewrite the program that has dictated our lives. To aid in this process, we introduce new routines and practices that support this shift. Meditation becomes a tool not just for relaxation, but for transformation. Through meditation, we quiet the noise of our external world, creating the space to plant new seeds of thought and emotion. Visualization exercises, where we imagine our lives filled with abundance, reinforce these new patterns, creating new neural pathways that support our financial goals. Embarking on the path to financial abundance requires a reconditioning of our very essence, our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. This reconditioning isn't just about wanting more, it's about becoming more. To attract abundance, we must become a vessel that is capable of receiving and sustaining it. This transformation occurs from the inside out, beginning with the mind. The cornerstone of this transformation is cultivating an abundant mindset. 
This mindset is not merely optimistic or hopeful. It is profoundly rooted in the belief that abundance is our natural state of being. It involves a shift from scarcity, where resources are limited and competition is fierce, to a state of abundance where there is plenty for all and our success uplifts others. To cultivate this mindset, we begin with gratitude. Gratitude is the frequency that aligns us with abundance. By focusing on what we already have, we shift our attention from lack to abundance, making room for more blessings. Each morning, list five things you're grateful for. This simple practice sets the tone for abundance to flow into your life. Visualization is a powerful tool for reconditioning our minds for abundance. However, visualization alone, without emotional engagement, is like planting seeds in unfertile soil. To truly manifest abundance, we must feel the emotions of having received it even before it appears. Each day, dedicate time to visualize your life of abundance. Imagine paying off your debts effortlessly, receiving unexpected financial gains, and experiencing the joy of financial freedom. But don't just see it, feel it. Feel the relief, joy, and gratitude as if it's already happened. This emotional engagement signals to the universe that you're ready for abundance. Our financial reality is a reflection of our beliefs about money. To change our reality, we must first identify and transform these beliefs. Many of us harbor limiting beliefs such as money is the root of all evil. I don't deserve to be wealthy or you have to work hard to make money. To transform these beliefs, we must challenge them. Replace each limiting belief with an empowering one. For example, Money is a tool for good in the hands of those who do good with it. I am worthy of abundance. And money flows to me through various avenues, effortlessly and abundantly. Repeat these affirmations daily, embedding them into your subconscious. The journey from reconditioning our minds to manifesting a new financial reality is a bridge built on consistent action and unwavering faith. Manifestation is not a passive process. It's the active co-creation of our reality with the universe. To manifest financial abundance, we must align our thoughts, emotions, and actions with our desired outcome. While our thoughts and emotions set the foundation for manifesting abundance, our actions are the vehicle that brings it into reality. Start by aligning your actions with your intentions. If you seek financial abundance, ask yourself, what actions would a financially abundant person take? Perhaps it's investing in personal development, seeking new income sources, or managing finances wisely. Take at least one action daily that aligns with your vision of financial abundance. One of the most significant shifts in manifesting abundance is moving from a state of striving to a state of receiving. This doesn't mean becoming passive. Rather, it means staying open and receptive to the abundance the universe has to offer. It may come in unexpected forms, an opportunity, an idea, or a connection. Stay alert and open to these signs, trusting that the universe is conspiring in your favor. The manifestation of financial abundance is a journey, not a sprint. It requires patience, persistence, and a deep trust in the process. There will be moments of doubt and temptation to revert to old patterns of scarcity. In these moments, remind yourself of the power of your thoughts and emotions. Reaffirm your commitment to this journey, knowing that each step forward is a step closer to your desired reality.